Indigenous artists have exhibited for the first time at a more than 150-year-old Melbourne gallery. The Victorian Arts Society was founded by some of Australia's early Impressionist painters, but until today, First Nations art has never hung on its walls. Like countless generations before her, Yorta Yorta painter Lorraine Brickdale takes her materials from the land around her. I use the various colours that are available in the art They make watercolour and what you would call acrylic paint out of rocks and stones that I find and I make it all myself. I use the gum from an acacia tree. Lorraine is one of five women artists living on Jar Jar Warren country in the Bendigo region, featured in the Nut Isle exhibition at the Victorian Artists Society in East Melbourne. Established in 1870, it's one of Australia's most significant galleries with a collection that includes some of Australia's earliest colonial artists, but it has never before welcomed Indigenous Australian art. We've always known that this was a special place. And when this opportunity came along, I almost couldn't believe it. Truly, really significant. There's no way 50 years ago a First Nations person would have art in here. It wouldn't have been seen as proper art. Um, and if it was anywhere, it was craft. Nuttall means to gather together. And this exhibition brings together traditional and contemporary First Nations art that tells stories of community and country. Our art that we produce might be completely different, but in some ways we all come from the same place. Breaking new artistic ground for new generations of First Nations artists. Sasha Payne, ABC News, Melbourne.